Hello everyone. I am Jamaican singer, songwriter, poet, general writer, Sean C. Harrison. Today, I'm excited to share my new book, my book of testimonies, personal testimonies, entitled, The Word of My Testimony. Simple yet miraculous accounts of the workings of God in the life of Sean C. Harrison. This book finds itself chock full of experiences that show God at work in my life and in the lives of others. How he has used me, how he has molded me, how he has broken me. And I would like to read one of my testimonies from this book for you today. And I hope that as you listen to this testimony, you will be inspired to seek out this book. It sells in all Amazon e-stores worldwide. And again, it's entitled The Word of My Testimony. And I hope you do get this book because it will be a timely, a timely reminder each testimony, each experience of the greatness of God in someone, someone's life who has been so broken, but who has been so blessed. So as you listen today, please enjoy. Order your copies online. And I know that you will be greatly benefited. Thank you. The testimony I'm going to read today is of an actual experience that occurred in Morant Bay, St. Thomas, the town capital of my parish. And I just want you to know that all these experiences, all these things I document here, over 50 testimonies, some short, some long, some that will make you laugh, some that will make you cry, are all true, all real, all authentic. Six Bags of Blessings Finding God's workings in the small things takes eyes, ears, and hearts attuned to His leadings and spirits willing to give Him glory in every situation we find ourselves. Surely, it's not because I can consider myself a super kind of child of God why I see His workings in even the minute happenings. I choose to be led by His Spirit more often than not, and you can too. Here's how a week of my life became one of blessing to me and those I was moved to acknowledge as God presented opportunities that may have otherwise passed me by. Firstly, having been blessed with some cash that week after asking and receiving from a relative, as well as running into a Christian friend who told me her sister had instructed her that whenever she saw me next, she used to give me a little money, as well as having been paid back a small loan. I was able to provide three little bags of food as tokens of gratitude to three ladies who had shown kindness in Morant Bay over time. One was a relative of mine who had fallen ill. I had always been thinking that for as many persons as have reached out to me throughout my dark periods starting the year 2013 and even prior up to now, I really wish I could show some token of gratitude and I am willing to report that God provided so that I was able to give back to a few. It was no grand show of kindness, but for whatever I was able to put together for these three ladies, I am truly thankful I was at last allowed to return something, though not large in scope. The above constitutes the first three testimonies. Pretty simple, eh? But not so simple after all. When we think of the times within which we live, there are hard resources around to do that kind of giving today. COVID-19 has snatched many jobs and livelihood some persons affected, and most of us have little money to spread around. But I implead us all 
No matter how small your pocket, no matter how great your need, there is something we all can give. This is an example of the thought that counts. I know in my spirit the three ladies were pleased, and it was my express pleasure to have done this. You may wonder, where are the other two testimonies coming right up? Just today, at that time, I went to the lobby of one of the ladies' place of work that I gave to, as I do from time to time, going through Morant Bay to take a little breather. I had not eaten all morning, and it was around midday. I had no money and had no intention to ask this lady this time for any money. However, it turns out that the security guard who was at the door had gone into the business place and emerged from it with 500 Jamaican dollars, which he said came from her. I was a bit taken aback and made it clear that I did not come to ask for money. However, he said that she had glimpsed me outside the office doors. Nonetheless, he said from the very day I sent in the little bag of ground provisions, she wanted to bless me. I wondered what to buy to eat and finally decided to get something at Juicy Patties. That's a little, that's a, well, that's a, that's a chain store, that's a chain food establishment in Jamaica. When I approached the line, I saw another lady I knew before me and said in her hearing, I want to buy a chicken combo, but I am short a hundred dollars. Very quickly she cried, shame on you, and her hand emerged from her bag with 200 Jamaican dollars. I thanked her and eventually went and bought my very first meal of the day. Having had a hundred Jamaican dollars extra, I walked till I came to a Naysbury vendor, which is a fruit that is also called Sapodilla fruit, which is a fruit in Jamaica, and bought a small bag of them and went to Paul Boga Place, which was a little plaza where Marjan Pharmacy was housed. I sat down outside of the building where they had provided concrete benches and a table for the public and ate them, lingering there for a while, wondering about my next move. Then out of the blue, I stood up after resting there a while and stepped off. Just as I was coming out of the parking lot of Paul Boga Place, which natives know is all the way to one end of Morant Bay Square, St. Thomas, Jamaica, I saw a woman across the one-way road that leads out of Morant Bay with three hefty bags. There were two at her feet and one in her hand. Obviously, she was unable to go any further. Immediately, I went over and offered help her, to her, making sure to tell her there was no charge. It turned out that she was going all the way to the Portland bus stop, Portland being the adjoining parish in the easternmost end of the island, which was on Hope Road, adjacent to and below Robbie's restaurant, all the way. And as I said before, the other end of Morant Bay. When I say the bags were heavy, I mean every word. Even my hands hurt carrying them. It was out of my way completely because I was leaving Morant Bay for the day. I only said to her, as I felt the weight walking with her, Heaven help you, had I not come along. She acquiesced to my observation. And as we reached the minivan, I said to her, If someone in this time goes out of his or her way to help you like this, count it a blessing. I rested my hand on her shoulder. Give your testimony, was the last thing I said to her before stepping away. She said to me, I will, thank you. Friends, this week turned out to be an immense blessing. And I thank God for having made me experience the sheer pleasure of fulfilling the scripture that says, It is more blessed to give than to receive. 
in all the hustle and hurry of life, which of us will take that time to lift that heavy load for the weak or show thanks for good deeds done to us? Do we realize that each act of kindness is a deposit in a better world? What are you waiting for? Look around you. There are a million ways to be of benefit to mankind. Choose even one, even two, and I am sure the world, your world, will become incrementally a better place. Yes, friends, that was the testimony. Six, six bags of blessing. And it is read or has been read from my new book, The Word of My Testimony. Simple yet miraculous accounts of the workings of God in the life of me, Sean C. Harris Law. So, I would like you to know that it's a very good read. It's not too long, it's not too short. It's just right for your reading pleasure and for spending relaxing time imbibing wholesome, wholesome, true experiences of a child of God who has learned to trust his maker. And so can you today. Get the book, available in all Amazon e-stores and other e-stores worldwide. And I'm sure it will make your day, it will make your week, it will make your month, and it will make your life better as you learn to trust God more as I have in the little and the large things. Thank you so much for listening and for watching. And God bless you.